Hello there, this is Lynn Allen and welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. This time I'm coming to you from yet another hotel room, this time in downtown Orlando. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a tip that has to do with something called selection cycling. Selection cycling, it came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. It really comes in handy when you're working with complicated drawings. Drawings with lots of objects in them. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Super, super handy tool. All right, so I think if you take a look at the screen, you would agree I have a pretty complicated drawing. And what happens is when I go to select objects, sometimes you accidentally select the wrong object because they're so close together. Or sometimes there's objects on top of other objects, and I'll, I'll show you an example of that later on. But just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, I'm gonna come down here to the very bottom of the AutoCAD screen on the status bar, and I'm going to turn selection cycling on. And that is the second to the last tool there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. It turns it blue. Frankly, I think it's kind of hard to see the blue. You'll be able to tell for sure you got it when it says selection cycling on. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, as I move my cursor around, I want you to see that anywhere where there is more than one object, let me try to find a good place for you, you will see that AutoCAD will display these blue boxes. There's a good place right there. These blue boxes mean that there's more than one object underneath the selection box, okay? Off the pick box, there's more than one object. So I'm gonna kinda come over here, and I'm gonna do an erase, for example. And I'm gonna pick a place which, of course, we would be highly unlikely I would get the right object, but I'm gonna go ahead and select. And you will see that underneath the pick box at that particular moment, there was a polyline. Notice as I move my cursor down the box, it displays them, it highlights them for me so I know exactly which object I selected. There's a the line, there's the rotated dimension. So if I come down here, is there any more? Nope, that was it. <laughs> as it was, there was one, two, three, four objects underneath the pick box. So with selection cycling, I would come in and say, you know, maybe I was trying to get that block reference, select it, and then I could erase it for example. So it's when you're trying to select objects, almost always when you're trying to edit them in some way, right? To modify them in some way. Okay, let me show you another example. I particularly run into this issue when dealing with hatch patterns and boundaries. You know, it's hard to select one versus the other. You never know which way AutoCAD's gonna go. So let's say I'm trying to select this hatch pattern. I'm gonna turn selection cycling off for a second. Incidentally, you can also do a control W for those of you who like to use your keyboard, control W to toggle it on and off. Sometimes that's easier than trying to select the tool on the status bar, completely up to you. So let's say I'm trying to select the hatch pattern and I go in the erase command again and I pick there. Okay, I got the boundary, I pick over here. I got a line, I pick over. I, I'm getting everything except for the hatch pattern. I'm still not getting the hatch pattern. So at that point, I would become a little frustrated. <laughs> I'm sure you would too, right? So. This is a perfect example where, where selection cycling can really come in handy. So let's go down here and turn it on, or once again, control W. And now I'll go into the erase command and I'm gonna pick right here where both the boundary and the hatch pattern meet, but it's not a problem because it gives me the option of the hatch, which is what I was after. And now we're all gonna live happily ever after. Yay, it's just that simple. So try selection cycling, especially in those complicated drawings, or when you run into circumstances where objects are right on top of each other and you're not really able to zoom in to select the correct object, okay? All right, so I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you back here in a couple of weeks, all right? As for me, I think I'm gonna go to Disney World. Woo.